Anyway, folks, welcome back to my chat. Today we've got a few bits to show you today, and um, a force of destiny done what I got on the cheap. Straight after this. Anyway, folks, welcome back. So yeah, we've got a few bits to show you, and we've got this, this Force of Destiny. Last week we had the Princess Leia Platinum Edition with R2-D2, and then since then I was looking and I thought, oh yeah, I saw this on the cheap. This was the one what I've already got in the box, but I saw it on the cheap, and I thought, yeah, it'd be good to show you guys what is outside the box. So this is a Princess Leia top. So that's what I got. I got this for a fiver, can't believe it. Five quid. So you got a Princess Leia, and we had the older uh, iconic R2 D2. Just wipe that one now. Keep the bag because I need to move stuff around. I've got a bit to show you. So yeah, we leave that there. So yeah, there's the iconic R2 D2. Pretty good. His head moves and stuff. His arms moving that. He hasn't got no wheels, but yeah, that's as big as almost my hand. So it's quite big. The, uh, the figures, but that's what I'm saying, they should have carried on with Darth Vader, C-3PO, oh yeah, there was the true true background there, when you pushed his stomach, it made like noises and stuff, should have done a hand solo, but they, they didn't, so that was the R2-D2, and there's the Princess Leia, so you can say that's how big R uh, Princess Leia is, against my arm, she's got a, a blaster there, um, absolute real hair, Clothing can come off if you want, but yeah, that's uh, as a princess Leia, pretty good. And I wanted it really for the R2 D2 to, 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 to display or put them up there and that. So, yeah, that was the uh, princess Leia and R2 D2. Five quid, can't believe it. Out the box loop, so yeah, that was that. So, let's leave that there, princess Leia. Stay, and you got R2 D2 there. We keep the bag because I might have to move stuff because of you know putting stuff on there. So, and the next thing we got was um, remember the Death Star? What um, I sold one and I got a new one last week and I built ship. They done a few other die cast ones. I saw this, only got this for two quid, and that's the Millennium Falcon. That's pretty good. So it's missing a window there where the cockpit is, um, where Han Solo drives. The little gun on the top moves to shoot in and on the bottom it's got like um I think it can undo its feet so it stands it's quite quite stiff at the moment so uh have I got a, a thing to show you yeah, like this let's so we flip open the feet like that one two and three so you've got his feet so it can stand stand on like that that's pretty good yeah, so I'm missing the, I think it's the antenna radar on the top and a glass with, with the cockpit. But all in all, that is pretty good for a die cast. Only a couple of quid, I can't believe it. So, and that's 19, where we go, that was CPS Productions, Kenner, yeah, 1980, <clears throat> 1979 to 1980, 79 to 80, yeah. So that was like the time that uh, Death Star come out as well. So, you know, they, kids could have got that at the time. But yeah, it's pretty good. Die cast. I won't get all the die cast because they're only little small things. You're missing like little silly bits and they're really hard to get hold of. So uh, that was the old ship. Then we go back to Mashup Ring Warriors. Um, I've got them all now. So I've got two, two to show you now. They've got two next week, and that's all completed because through the other episodes, I've had like one and one and one. I think there's about eight or ten to collect, but I've got all of them now because I've searched for them. So, there you go, we've got Seth Rollins, a snide copy, China. Be careful, I said to you. Um, so, yeah, I only got them for the iconic, like little like bell. We've got a China, uh, chainsaw, um, a dumbbell, and you've got like a, a crutch. And I was going to use it with my WWF Hasbro figures from like vintage style thought I was going to just cut out for this but these are going up in a little bit of price on the eBay and stuff people were like thinking oh yeah it's a sniper we just sell them for more but these are from the pound shop Poundland 
in the UK. So that was Seth Rollins. So we put him out. Then we had another matchup room warriors, John Cena. Can't believe it, you know what I mean? So that's John Cena and Seth Rollins. Matchup room warriors, got the chair, it's got like a club with spikes in it. And uh, yeah, go check it out. Mashup Ring Warriors. And nothing on the back. So, and that was Christian Tornado Hanson and he was Barry the Duke still. So that was that one. That was them too. And what else did we get? Oh yeah, we got this. I think I showed you ages ago, I'm not too sure, but I had it over there in the pole which I haven't shown. So, at the toy fair when I went last year, I bought a die-cast Dick Tracy car. So that was on its packaging. Um, so yeah, it's uh, absolutely wicked. I think it's uh, based on the cartoon TV series or the movie. I'm not too sure. I think it's based on the movie. But yeah, 1990, so it's got to be the movie. But yeah, I've uh, only done one Dick Tracy film. A die-cast Mel is absolute. Still on its packaging, not even open or anything. Yellow, yellow in on the blister, so it's like, there we go, 2024 now. That's like 34 years old. No, 1910, 20, yeah, 34 years old. So yeah, 34 year old car, mint in its box, absolutely wicked. Couple of quid. That was that. Uh, then we saw this um, for three quid. And this was um, kind of a rare slip-on cover for a vintage action man, Space Ranger. So it's like his head goes on there and it slips along like that. It's like a, a, like a Space Ranger kind of outfit. Space Ranger Commando Sound. So I think this is the one where you pull and it says like sounds and stuff. But that was like kind of a, a rareish communication belt thing goes on to Action Man. That was only like three quid, ain't too bad. So put that back in the bag there Mick. And then we went to Mo2 and we got another uh where are we? Terraclaw Skeletor. So yeah I've got another Terraclaw Skeletor and uh it was a little bit knacking them you know beating up because we got like a bit crappy on the bag there. I was oh it'd be good like you know if, if I've got any spares for the uh terror claws and the little um dragon. I've, I've showed you that before but I thought I'll get a spare one. It's only going really really cheap so I, I thought I'd pick it up because the look, all the boxes all naked look absolute shit. It's all been taped up. It's got like masking tape on it been going around it and that so someone's trying to open it because it's been open now. And uh, two, three quid I got that for, ain't too bad. Still got this box and that, it's just been opened and ripped and stuff, and, and I thought, so, you know, they're all right for spares. So, yeah, not too bad for a couple of quid as well, not bad. The Moto Origins Terra Claw Skates, or I showed you this before with all the iconic stuff and the drawings and stuff, so you know what all this is about. So, that was that. <coughs> well, falling apart box, falling apart on the side. So, that was that, Mick. And that was the, that one. <clears throat> so I might have to move stuff in a minute because I'm starting to get into stuff. Yeah, so we got a box. A box of stuff what I wanted. And I've got it now, so yeah, good. So we had a bag. A bag of that. I think that was that. Yep, that was that. So I'm going to take the box over there to put that back in. This completes almost my vintage Moto um, vehicles. It's only a little silly crappy thing but it cost a, a bit of money, I can't believe it. But what, just for that? Oh yeah, we got a cut apart for another another character as well, what I wanted. Which is in the bag there, so I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much with this. So that goes down to now. We got one, that two more vehicles for the vintage moto and then we got all the vehicles. And here we go, we've got laser bolts. Laser bolt, absolute wicked, look at that. I've never had a laser bolt before. And it's the first time opening it up as well. 
Yeah, we've got laser bolt, man. Can't believe it. Never had this before, so I'm trying to find out where this goes. You know like that? There you go, so it goes on the rolls on the floor. Um, somehow I think it goes, it pops up or something like that. Weird, kind of weirdish. So that's laser bolt. It's got his guns and stuff. Oh, there goes his head. He's got to have a blue attachment to go on the head, but yeah, it's got all the stickers on it. it pops up somehow. It goes like that, uh, and you can roll it like this. Or you can have it on the floor rolling like that. You're supposed to have a blue thing to keep it into place or something weird like that. Never had it before, so I can't really say. I think it goes like that, and then you put that on there. It's supposed to attach, have a blue thing attached to it, something like that. But yeah, that's laser bolt, can't believe it, got that. I thought it only came with one gun, but I'm surprised it came with both guns. All the stickers are on it. That's the phone again. So yeah, it's quite, really, really good. It's got his eyes and his stickers and all that. It's not like it's really never been played. This is like 1980, Mattel 1985. So that is that. I think Ram Man can go on there because he's kind of a biggish figure, so he can go on there. So yeah, that's laser bolt. Can't believe it. Got the old laser bolt. Wicked. And talking about Mo2, we had a pair of these. You think, what the hell is that? And I'm thinking, yeah, this completes another figure, a rarish figure. That goes on multi bot. It's a bit like Modulop, but it's a multi-bot, and there's the two blue legs the one I needed to complete the figure. Absolutely wicked. So that completes that. So let's find multi-bot, and we come back straight after this. Welcome back, folks. Here we go. There's multi-bot. Looks like an alien kind of version of Modulop. So it's got his arms and his attachments and legs and stuff, but now... We got the two blue legs, so um, I've got one of them things what attaches to the back, so they can attach together, and you can have the two legs in the in the middle. So there's my multi box. And now we've got the two blue legs to fit onto them, and now that is complete. Pleased with that. I don't know if that's going to come out on Origins, I don't know. They've gone to the Turtle Wave. Um, I don't mind getting the, the four main turtles of that um, Turtle He-Man crossover, but I won't get none of the others. Uh, I'm more focused on He-Man Origins. So that was that, folks. So let's have a little little move out of the way, and uh, we'll uh, see if we can line up some stuff because I've got it in a box here. A big bag of vintage stuff of uh, vintage Star Wars. Move the old multi got out of the way. Got his legs there Mick. I wonder if that's enough room. Let's put a Skeletor tail claws down there. Right, so here we go. Now this is a, a bit of a collection I've got. I'm trying to army build at the moment. So we had a, a Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper, we had a Stormtrooper, vintage Stormtroopers, <coughs> we had a, a Biker Scout, then we had a Stormtrooper, normal Stormtrooper, we had Two more biker scouts. Then we had a couple of snow troopers. That's a nice one. I think that's got like little eyes and big eyes, or big eyes and little eyes. One of them. So it was the snow troopers. We had two. Oh, two attack drivers. Pretty cool. So let's sit the old attack drivers down now. Snow troopers, let's put them up there. Snow troopers, snow troopers, attacks. That one. Oh, 
Big choice is getting raided. Like that. Then we have the TIE Fighter pilot. Really nice, got his uh, iconic stars on the uh, emblems on the side and the, uh, the other side. Pretty good that figure, nice, nice and nice and clean. So that was that. Then we had a Lou Grey, and this Lou Grey has got no markings at all, nothing. So I've done, and it's nice and kind of shiny. Um, I, I'll do a close-up picture later before I, I leave, so you can see what I've got on that. But yes, yeah, Lou Grey with no markings at all, not even the HK, no LFL or nothing. So I don't know what that is, where it come from, what year it come from, or whatever. But then we've got a couple of these, a couple of the old Gamorahs, Gamorai guards or Gamoran guards. And one for luck. There you go, look at that. Then we had a, a biker scout, a, 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 a biker bike. It goes like that. And last, last but not least, we had a Endor Rebel soldier. And I put him on the, the final bike. So there you go, look at that. So that is that, folks. We had a hell of a lot of vintage Star Wars figures picking up and just like army building. So there we go. We got the old biker there. Do you want to do it? Well, let's put it on there. So we go. So he zooms like that, crashes, and he goes down. So yeah, that's how it goes. So that is that, folks. So we've got a hell of a lot of Star Wars stuff today. Let's put that back on there, Mick. And that goes in like that, and that goes in like that. Clips in. There you go. Sorted. And where's you? Where are you gone? And we got the uh, the indoor rebel soldier. Point back on the bike. I haven't got no handlebars, or I haven't got the the gun attachment at the back, or the flaps. But when you get um, a job lot going for really cheap, you pick it up. You think, well, I'll pick them up like you know later on or something. So there you go folks, he's back on his bike without no handlebars, so there he goes, uh, good, wicked, so that is that folks, so we had, trying to remember now, <laughs> we've got a load of stuff here, look at that, so let's put that down now, so we have Princess Leia and R2-D2, Force of Destiny, big version, not bad, cut the quid, then we had the, um, the Mo2, uh, the Millennium Falcon, sorry, a die cast, absolutely wicked, really, really good, like that ship. Put it back in there, the box ceramic. Give me a Dick Tracy car, 34 years old, still on its uh, packaging, pretty cool. Give me a the um, Action Man uh, Space Ranger kind of emblem, like suit, like a bit of what goes on his body. Pretty good. Then we had the multi bot, the multi bot legs, what completes the figure, which is vintage. Pretty good. Then we had the John Cena and the Seth Rollins knockoff of the Mashup Ring Warriors. Oh, stand it up, stand it up, stand it up. There you go. Then we had the uh, two or four Skeletor, which is a knacker box. I opened on that, and I thought I'd get it for spares. So that was that one. Then we had the multi bot, which is uh, uh, fills in one of my Moto uh, vehicles, which I've only got to get about another two vehicles, and then that's all complete. The vintage ones. That was really really nice. But it cost a little bit. That did. Then we had the um, vintage Star Wars figures. Which is army building. Put him back up there. He's coming off his bike, silly ass. Stay there. Stay. So we had one, two, three, four Gamma and Guards. Put him back in there. Then we had one, two, three Biker Scouts. 
we had two um, snow troopers, we had two um, ATAT drivers, we had one empty bike, um, we had one TIE fighter pilot, and we had one, two, three storm troopers. So all in all, oh and a Lugre with Van Ham markings. And that was it folks. So that was a lot of Finley Star Wars stuff to uh, I've been collecting to army build. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, that was it. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 Finley Star Wars figures. And that was the whole mic. Thanks for coming. Um, all the new subscribers, thanks for joining. All the old ones, thanks for sticking by me on Mike's chat. There you go folks, so I'm going to get the camera now and I'm going to show you the close up of all of this. Pretty cool. So let's do it live while I'm doing it. Well, not live, but I'm doing it while you're uh, watching. So we take that off, we go like this. And we go, da da. So there you go folks, that is Mike's haul for today. Pretty good. So we had the multi bot and that and the uh, so yeah there you go folks so if I can uh, do a picture of Lou Grey and put it in this before I shut off that'd be great there you go so yeah this is the picture of Lou Grey There you go folks, that was Lou Grey, no markings, I don't know where it came from, but it's an Ewok. Anyway, thanks for coming, all the new subscribers, thanks for your subscribers for sticking by, and yeah, we had a hell of a lot today, didn't we, eh? Yeah. Anyway, come back next week for more Mike's Chat. Cheers. There's many ways you can follow me on social media, Instagram, Mike's Chat, Facebook group, even subscribe to this page. Even click that notification bell for the next video content coming up, or go to the about, email me if you've got anything to give away. Thanks very much, and see you next time.